Hello, hello everyone, welcome back to another Fallout 76 video. Let's go over the cheap squatch foods and how can you easily get a 35% boost in melee damage. Welcome back to another video and this time we're going over the new recipes from the Sheep Squatch event which is called a Free Range. If you are not sure how it works or where to look for it, then make sure to check my guide here. It's not fully complete, there are other locations where you can find the event, but that's one of the main locations. Anyway, let's move on and check how can you first get these recipes in order to craft them, of course. One of them, you don't need a recipe per se, you only need the ingredients. In the second, you need to complete the event. Here's what you need to do. Well, it's very simple in how can you get this recipe. There is a one in one and all you have to do is complete the event a free range. At the very end, in the rewards, you will get the ship squash meat pie. I've caught it around 10 times by now, so I'm pretty sure it's the only recipe that you can get from this event. And that's everything you need, because the other one you can get by simply getting the sheep squash meat and some wood, and the recipe will show up in your cooking station. So let's get into mutton chops. How can you craft this? Well, simply kill the sheep squash, the real one of course, then loot its meat and gather some wood. That's basically everything you need to craft some mutton chops. They give you a 10% milli boost and they last for 30 minutes. They're pretty handy and with the free range event popping up all the time lately, it's very easy and quick to get the meat. Of course, they don't drop a lot of meat per death, but that just means you need to repeat the event as many times as you can. After the meat, you need to pick up some wood and you can basically get wood from a lot of places. And one of my favorite ones is here at the Sylvie and Sons logging camp. As the name says, there is plenty of wood here to pick. And yeah, even if you are not too short on wood, this is a great supply to keep in mind and always return when you are short on wood. So... Here it is, my little chair for you. Now for the mutton meat pie, you need a few more things. Here's the basic recipe. You need some carrots, some pepper. Of course, you need the sheep squash meat and then some wood. As usual, you can do the free range event for the meat. You have to kill the sheep squash and you are lucky if you get two per event. Or you can also find a sheep squatch as a rare event in the world. For example, here one spawn near my camp and I killed it. They also drop meat. Normally it's from one to three pieces of meat per death. So it's not that pleasant in terms of farming because you will need to do a lot of events or find many sheep squatches in the world to get enough meat to craft this recipe. Well, at least a few times. Mama, where are the carrots? Well, you probably know where to find some carrots, or maybe you don't. And that's why you should first equip this perk, Green Thumb, which will basically double your gathering in plants, flowers, and flora in general. So head to Winston Homestead, it's like a farm. And you will find a plenty of carrots here. This location is very handy because it's near the Vault 76, which is a free fast travel point. And it's in this garden right here after these melons. As you can see, there are four carrots. They should be enough, but if they're not, then feel free to server jump or head to the General's Steakhouse. It's a bit to the north in the mire, and in here you can find way more carrots. You need to head to the backyard. There is a, like a farm 
place here and as you can see there is like a dozen of carrots there so get as many as you want and then you should be pretty much done enough carrots for now huh I would say that getting pepper is the real deal for this recipe. You need two peppers, a pear crafting, and they are not so easy to find in my opinion. So you can head to this location right here and you will be able to find two pepper flasks in the same location. The first back there in that table and the second is in this other table here. You can also find plenty of food and spices in here. Otherwise, you can serve a jump or move to the next location that I will present you. It's here at the Big Fred's Barbecue Shack and you can easily find one pepper a uh, flask near the salt right at the counter and you can just go inside for some more food and ingredients as well and i decided to bring you yet another location at the toxi larry um restaurant and be careful when you teleport here there's is usual these snail um creatures aberrations and they hit hard if you let them hit you then you need to head uh, inside to the top floor and under a grill you will find a pepper flask it's quite hidden but it's there now keep in mind that there are many other places where you can find pepper if you see it just pick it up before you head to your cooking station, don't forget to gather some dirty water from the world. As you can see, you need two of them and it's essential for the recipe. So lucky me, I have a water source just outside of my camp. So I don't have to worry about this one, but maybe you do if you don't have a nearby water source. Just make sure to collect some dirty water to boil before you return to your cooking station. last ingredient is the wood so don't forget to pick it up you only need one for each craft but before you go hunting for wood make sure to equip the wood shunker perk it's very handy and then head to the middle modern cabins for example where you can find tons of fallen trees across the road and also in the forest area there are dozens of trees here if you go around it. I used to have my old base here, so I pretty much know what I'm talking about. Make sure to get enough for the amount of crafting you want to do. Now it's finally time for the great reveal. We can now cook stuff and make sure to equip your super duper of course you don't have to if you don't have the perk but if you do just make sure you have it on because you get a chance to get free stuff every time you craft you might get another one who knows anyway now you can craft your mutton chops and your mutton meat pie so i craft one of each at first then i use the rest of the meat for the shops so the meat doesn't spoil and that's how you can enjoy a 25 percent melee damage bonus the foods stack together and you can even get an easily 10 percent bonus by consuming a glowing meat steak Yes, pretty much everyone who uses a melee build consumes this type of food. It's very easy to get. Almost every glowing uh, creature, animal uh, drops glowing meat. So there you go. This is how you can get a 35% melee bonus by simply crafting these new recipes and stacking with the old food that you probably use every day. And to finish off this video, I decided to do a little damage experience testing. And I started with these uh, gulpers. They are pretty strong. And I'm using my one hand dagger built. And I do really notice the change because I am doing way more damage per swing. And I wasn't even using adrenaline here because it was my first kill. But as I started killing them, I really noticed the damage bonus here. It's just, 
it's a really big difference. But things get even better if you switch to a two-hand uh, damage build. So I switched my perks a little bit and changed to my Super Sledge. And I was quite amazed because I was basically one-hitting, two-hitting Super Mutant without my heavy attack. This is normal, regular attacks, by the way. I'm just clicking with my mouse and you can see the damage is just wow it's so much i'm basically killing them with one swing with a normal hit so yeah 35 percent of melee damage makes a lot of difference even this legendary i killed it in two swings basically like what and yeah, that's going to be everything for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the information and that you can craft tons of ship squatch recipes to boost your melee damage. If you are a melee user, of course. If you're not, then, well, this is a bit useless to you. But considering that most players in Fallout 76 use a melee builds, I think it will be at least a little useful to you. I am Marta Branco, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the content and you would like to see more like this, then don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment below. As usual, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye! Wow.